Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Dean. I come back to you guys with a brand new video, and hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today, we're back to Call of Duty content. I got some content that I wanted to share to you guys. Pretty much, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the info that we're getting, and pretty much so you guys know it before we even post it. It's going to be very easy to show you guys. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know. All you have to do is literally just go into BO3, and it'll be right there. But before we go any further into today's video, please remember if you guys are brand new around here to the channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you guys are always notified when I post a video to this channel. It'd be very, very much appreciated. I upload Call of Duty and Black Ops 4 content every single day. I also uploaded some GTA content here over the last few days. You guys seem to like the video a little bit. I posted four videos. I'm, maybe I'll post another video. I don't really know. But I'm going to be sticking to the Black Ops 4 content here on the channel up until the beta. I'm going to be posting beta gameplay, everything I can. Just a quick disclaimer in this gameplay that you guys are seeing on screen from a background gameplay it kind of sucks because like as i got i said in the previous videos my controllers are effed up and like you guys try playing with a messed up controller it's kind of hard to play with a messed up controller i'm doing the best i can but pretty much in this gameplay or in this pretty much video what we're doing is if you guys go ahead and load up into call of Duty black ops 3 you guys will go ahead and see right here on screen it's pretty much like a little menu it'll say like the message of the day thing in the top left click that click square for ps4 or xbox i believe it's x click click x and it'll pretty much open up a menu and it'll say to dial a number right there it is a quick little number you dial you go ahead and dial that and type in bo4 once you type dial that number it'll be directed into a message will pretty much come back i don't know if it's going to work for you guys it worked for me a message came back and if you guys want to go ahead and know what it says, you guys can go ahead and do that for yourself. But that's kind of pretty much a little thing that you guys can do now to get quick little info from Call of Duty himself and Treyarch. And they're pretty much like, it's instead of us having to find this content and then post it for you guys, you guys can go ahead and go on there and you guys can find this content easy and simple. And I think it's a really cool way that they're doing it now. Next up, as you guys saw by the, the title of the video, no, I'm just not going to just go ahead and leave you with info about how how to discover info about Black Ops 4. Now I have more stuff to show you guys. If you guys go ahead and go to Call of Duty's Twitter account, I will leave a link to this post in the description. You guys can go ahead and go over there and look at it yourself. You guys can watch the little seven minute clip. Pretty much they're showing gameplay of a new SMG that they're gonna have in the beta. The MX9, to me, it kind of looks like the Weevil from BO3. A little bit like a PDW kind of gun. I think it's gonna be a pretty beast gun. If it shreds like any SMG should, I'm most likely going to be using this gun whenever the beta comes out. So stay tuned for that, because that's going to be a bomb-ass gun to use. Next up on our list, we're going to be going in and talking about things that have to do with multiplayer. You guys are probably going to hear my mouse clicking in the background as I'm recording this. So pretty much, they're going to be I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys now. There are score streaks. I believe I already said that in the video. Score streaks are in the game. It says that League Play is back in competitive multiplayer, a feature considered for a favorite among its fans. So pretty much if you are a competitive player and you guys do not want to be pub stomping and let the pubs actually like have fun playing the game, you go to League Play. You guys go over there and have fun. People who are just trying to have some fun, just you know, make a few videos or if we're just in here just to goof around, that's what public match is going to be for. So if you guys are a competitive kind of person in Call of Duty, go to League Play. Go there and play. Another thing it goes into says is the weapon systems have been designed like characters themselves with an abundance of detail with their gun systems, customization, and perk options. So it's going to be pretty much like BO3 and Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare and any other kind of Call of Duty. You're going to be able to customize your gun. You're going to be able to possibly put camos on it. We don't really know what kind of stuff they're going to do with that. Most likely they'll have camos. That's just like the thing that Treyarch does. They love camos. They love to customize their weapons and make things fun while you're in there killing people. Now the next thing I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about is zombies as well. I want to go ahead and kind of get everything across in this video. Because in my next video, I'm going to be going ahead and talking about some more info. And I just want to go ahead and kind of get like a part one out of this and then a part two out of the next one. Zombies wise, in this is pretty much it says the zombies mode has taken back to the drawing board for Black Ops 4. The first outing focuses on an accident order intent on twisting the population into undead hordes. So pretty much what they're talking about here is 9. So the map where you're in that Roman time where you're in the Colosseum. It's pretty much what they're talking about there. It's going to go ahead and just talk about how the storylines are going to collide. And one thing I kind of wanted to ask you guys in the comments 
leave down in the comments what do you guys think about the storyline because we saw people that the original characters from black ops 3 and black ops 2 and all those type of characters we saw them pretty much go from blood of the dead or mob of the dead we saw them transport over into nine and pretty much like a whole bunch of stuff went down in that bo 4 blood of the dead trailer we do not really know what's happening there we think that they are probably transporting and teleporting across centuries let me know in the comments what you guys think about that but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will have more content on this kind of stuff out tomorrow. It's currently July 26th, which means we are less, we are just about eight days from our BO4 beta release date. I am so hyped up for that, guys. Drop a like if you guys are hyped up for BO4 beta. It's going to be a great day whenever that comes out. I will be up bright and early and most likely posting many, many videos on that stuff. You guys will most likely see about five to six videos out of me a day when that beta comes out. I'm not really sure if that could happen, but it's going to be some major work going in for me. Remember, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And also to comment down below what you guys enjoyed about the video so I can keep on making videos like that. And also check out my sponsors and check out my social media. They are down in the description as well but without further ado guys it's been boy dean hype catch you guys